So what's a string in Java and how are you supposed to use them? In this video, you'll learn the basics of strings in Java and how you should use them in your programs. Hey, it's Alex back again, helping you get working code faster in your Java programs. On this channel, I make Java tutorials just like this one all the time. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's start off this Java strings tutorial for beginners by making a new Java project. As we always do, we'll just call it strings and hit OK. And as we always do, we'll create a new class in this project, which is just a fancy name for a Java file. We'll call this our strings program. Hit this first tech mark and hit OK. Finish. The program we'll be making today is Mad Libs. In elementary school or middle school, did you ever play Mad Libs? It's like this, this book you flip open and you fill in the blanks with adjectives, verbs, or nouns. And it makes like a funny story. So let's print out Mad Libs. Just like this. And we'll talk about some strings. A string is any word or sentence or anything in wrapped in double quotes. Just like this. If we save it and run it, we see it's printed out to the screen. And this is a string because it's in these double quotes. I think it's called a string because it's like a lot of characters string together. Like on like one of those necklaces you made in preschool. You make a string like this. You say, I'm going to make a string. And then you name it. We'll call it username. Then you set it to whatever you want in your double quotes. Like that. It's not, it's not actually my username. But it's as simple as that. It can have spaces, it can have funny characters, and it can have escape characters like tabs. I went over this in a separate video. If you want to know what these magical escape characters are, you can check that out on the screen now. But it's pretty much just anything in double quotes is a string. Once it's stored as a string, you can do things with it like print it out on the screen like what we did here. You can save it for later, and you can even manipulate it like convert it to uppercase or lowercase you can get a certain character at a certain position like the end or the beginning that'll be in a separate video but strings are everywhere on the internet the screen you're watching this now on has a bunch of suggested youtube videos it has the title the description those are all strings your username is a string your password is a string your address is a string so it's literally everywhere and you will probably use a string in almost every program you write. So let's check out an example of using some strings. We are going to fill out our Mad Libs example and it's gonna look something like this. My blank sister accidentally blanked all over her new blank. Like that. And so we have sort of a template, and what we're going to do is fill in these blanks with strings. And already we made three strings. We made this string, Mad Libs, we made this Magic Pony 420 string, and then this uh, little fill in the blank string. So let's fill in the blanks by making three new strings. The first one is a adjective. So we'll say string adjective equals and then we'll say whatever adjective we want um we could say my flamboyant flamboyant i think that's how you spell it okay and then we'll do a verb for the second blank do our verb what's a funny verb um say something like fart and then the last one is a noun so we'll do our noun and we'll say i don't know pogo stick now let's fill in these blanks by just copying, pasting it here, and then sticking these strings where the blanks are. To do that, it's kind of like cutting it with scissors and then pasting in our string. So we cut it like this by sort of separating them into two different ones. And then we paste in our adjective by using plus signs. So if we saved this, minimize this, and ran it, it would show my flamboyant sister. Now we just gotta do that a few more times, and we're done. So let's cut out that one and paste in our verb, like that, and that'll put in a nice fart, heh, <laughs> farts. 
And then this one, we can just cut it off like that and paste in our noun. It's looking pretty sweet, so we'll save it, run it, and we should get our final sentence. My flamboyant sister accidentally farted all over her new pogo stick. Have you ever farted on a pogo stick? I, I might have. Maybe not like directly on it, but maybe when I was jumping on one in my driveway, I think I farted. I probably farted. All the source code for this will be in the description, so you can just copy and paste that over into your program, help you learn some strings in Java. Question of the day, what are you using strings for in your program? Let me know in the comments and connect with this community of new programmers. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you can see videos just like this the day they come out and help grow this channel. I spent a lot of time making these and I hope they're really helpful for you. If this was helpful, smash that like button and share it if you think it might help someone you know. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me and I appreciate it. Catch you in the next video.